Hello, it's Whitney Nicely. So I have been asked to share a case study on exactly step by step how I bought this crack house and why I'm going to be making money on it and why, how I knew it was a good deal, why I wanted it, all of that jazz. So I've come up with 10 steps, 10 things that I did that you can easily repeat and do to get your own deals done. And whether you do ugly houses or pretty houses, these 10 steps are going to work for you. So the first thing that I did was I was out talking to people. All right. Talking to people will get you more leads faster than anything else. Um, and in particular, I was talking to some of the guys that live in my neighborhood. Like that's how easy it is to find people. Um, and then the guy that mows my yard walked up. So I started talking to him too. And the second thing I did, I, you know, I'm talking to him and I tell him that I buy houses. The second thing I did is I said, do you know anybody that has any little crack houses or something that they just don't want anymore? And that question right there, do you know somebody who has a house that they don't want anymore? Y'all, that is gold. Okay, if you ask 10 people a day, if they know somebody who has a house they don't want anymore, you're not going to need to do any other marketing. All right, so talk to people and tell them you buy houses. Ask for the leads. And in the conversation, you know, I said, yeah, I buy houses. Um, do you know anybody that has anything they want to get rid of? And my yard guy was like, yeah, I've got two little ugly houses that I don't want anymore. Oh, really? Let me write down the address and I will call you back. Okay, so the third thing I did is I followed up. All right, he told me where these houses were. I drove over and looked at the houses. I didn't go in them. I just drove by and looked at them. All right, I drove by, I looked at them. And then this is the craziest thing. I called him back and made him an offer to buy it. That's step four. Make an offer. All right. I called him back and I said, all right, they look good to me. How much do you want for them? And he said, oh, I don't know. Give me a price. And I said, how about 10000 And he said, each or for both? And I said, both? He said, well, I can't do 10000 for both of them because that's only 5000 for both houses. But if you'll give me 10000 per house, I'll do it. Really? Okay. <laughs> so, step five is to sign the paperwork. All right? And these are little bitty dinky houses. And he wants to let them go for 10000 a pop. And I'm thinking that they're probably worth twenty or 30000 um, at this point, I haven't even really done any research or homework on them, but all right, let's roll the dice and see what happens. So at this point in the story, I'm buying two houses from this dude. All right, but let's focus on the one house right now. And the address of the one house is 2008 Hull Avenue, H-U-L-L, -L, 2008 Hull Avenue. So I got both houses under contract for 10,000 a piece. Well, Hull Avenue was the pretty one of the two ugly houses. So I started, um, step six is advertising the property. I took two pictures, one picture of each house. No, I take that back. I had two pictures of the Hull Avenue house. I only had one picture of the other house, but we're talking about Hull Avenue. So I took two pictures of this house and I put it up on Craigslist, Facebook, and Zillow. I started advertising the property and I started advertising it for $15,000 or a lease option. I had tons, tons of response. All right. And that is number seven, find the buyers. So I had tons of people calling me. I had Facebook messages. I had emails. I had tons of people from an hour away, two hours away, wanting to come look at my little $15,000 house. I had a lot of people that wanted to do a lease option on it or a rent to own on it. So I had it out there and I was advertising it and 
the neighbors next door at whatever the street number is, Whole Avenue, they called and they said, hey, we want to buy this house. We live next door. Uh, we think 15000 is too much, but we would like to make you payments. Will you take 12000 for this house? And I said, yeah, sounds good. All right. You know, I think I lied to you. I mean, I have to go find my paperwork. So, I'll straighten this out in a second. But, I knew that they wanted to buy the house for 12000 And they told me that they would give me $5,000 as an option fee on it. So, they would only owe me $7,000. Okay? You know, come to think of it, I think I had the houses at 6000 a piece instead of 10000 because step 8 is to renegotiate with the seller and so I called my seller and I said hey I've got somebody that wants to do this instead of owner financing it to me for two or three years will you take a cash payment payout right now and we'll be done with this and my seller said yes I said, well, I think I had it for 6000 I said, and I, was, I knew I was going to get 5000 down. I said, well, how much will you take if we just cash out and move on? And he said, I'll take $3,000. So I knew step nine is to collect the money. So I went and met these people at a hotel because that's where they work and I don't have an office here. So I went and met them at a hotel and step nine was collect the money. So we went, we signed the paperwork and then I met them at the bank and they gave me the money and I deposited it. So I had $5,000 and I would called my seller and he was willing to take $3,000 and not do an owner finance deal. So I'm from Tennessee. But if I collect 5000 and I only owe out 3000 that means I made $2,000, right? So that's what I did. I got $5,000 from my tenant buyer. They owe me a total of twelve, so they still are going to pay me $7,000 in monthly increments for the next two years, 300 bucks a month. I renegotiated with my seller to get a better sales price. He didn't really want to do the owner financing. And when I presented him with money, he said, okay. So he took the $3,000. I got to keep $2,000. I ended up um, paying for closing costs which and taxes and stuff. So I spent about 500 bucks. So I ended up keeping $1,500 and knowing that I have $300 a month for the next 24 months coming into my account so these people pay off the balance of $7,000 and I made $1,500 now I have a house free and clear and that's when we do step 10 and go to closing alright after you have negotiated advertised found buyers collected money you go to closing once everything is done and sealed and everybody agrees on it and everybody knows what's going on, you go to closing. And I literally have no money in this deal because my tenant buyers gave me $5,000. They're eventually going to pay me a total of $12,000. I had to give my seller $3,000. So I'm in the money, honey. And that's how you do it. You go out, you talk to sell, you talk to people, my yard guy, you talk to people, you ask for leads, you follow up on the leads, you make offers, you sign the paperwork, you advertise the property, you find buyers, you renegotiate with the seller. I mean, I rarely ever have a deal that I don't renegotiate with the seller like every time. I think it's fun. 
Step nine is you collect the money because the money talks and the rest walks. And number 10, you close. Yay! Close the property, make some money. <sighs> so, I bought a house for $3,000 with no money out of my pocket, and I'm going to end up making $9,000 with nothing involved. And you can do it too. Even if you forget what you originally agreed to pay for it. Because it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I'm making $9,000 off a house that I have nothing involved in. So if I did one of those a month, I'd be making $300 on 12 houses. That's $3,600 every month that I can make with no money involved with no flipping, with no real work. And you can do it too. I know you can. If you want to know more, go to WhitneyNicely.com and fill out the application, get my program. May's group coaching program starts next Tuesday. So you've got just that six days to get started, get signed up, and get going on this. Let me know if you have any questions. Send me a message. Uh, I'm sorry I messed up my numbers in the beginning but anyway the point is renegotiate get the paperwork signed get the money and close bye y'all have a good day